Hi, this is just a short uh, video tutorial to get you started on Google Apps for Education. I'm working on my iPad. I've opened a browser, and in this case I've opened Safari, and I'm looking at the Moodle homepage of our school's site. In the upper left-hand corner, the IT department has already uh, created a direct link so that you can log in. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And here we are on the login page. Now, if you haven't signed into this site before, the username that you're going to be using is the same as your username for the Moodle site. And the password, you're going to have to, uh, first of all, go to the IT department and get the default password. Once you've logged in with that, the site will then prompt you to create a password of your choice. So I'm going to just sign in now. And what we're looking at is the home page. So in the upper left hand side is just confirming which account I've signed in as and who our account is managed by. You can always click on the learn more if you're interested in learning more. On the right hand side is just showing the list of services that our school has signed up for. So you now have access to Google Drive, Calendar, Contacts, Mailing Groups and um, Google Sites, which is a collaborative workspace that you can then upload and share on the internet as a website. Just going back to Google Drive, um, many of you will have heard of Google Docs. Well, Google Docs has transformed to Google Drive, and that's because it now includes not just documents, but also spreadsheets and PowerPoint-like presentations, so you can create any of those by going into your Google Drive account. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, click on Google Drive. And here we are on my Google Drive page. Now, the reason I wanted to show you this um, and what I can't show you is that uh, when you first sign in to Google Apps for Education, at this stage a pop-up will come uh, and will be encouraging you to sign up for the Google Drive app. I would also like to encourage you to sign up uh, and use the Google Drive app rather than coming in via the browser, which is what we're doing at the moment. Um, the reason being, well, two reasons. One, that the students are being encouraged to use Google Drive via their app, and they will do that. And the other side of it is that uh, the app actually has enhanced features, and I'll just show you a little bit about that right now. You can see over here, uh, on the left that I've got a folder and I've also got uh, a bunch of um, files. But if I want to actually create a folder, the only option I have in this view is here. And that only allows me to create um, a document or a spreadsheet. So it doesn't actually give me the option to create folders in this view. The other thing I just want to alert you to, um, because it does make a difference in your experience, is down here where it says view Google Docs in mobile or desktop. We're looking at this right now in a, in a mobile view and it's highlighted as the darker black. Um, if I click on the desktop, I'm going to get a different experience completely. So now you can see my Google Drive in the desktop view and you can see that you can up in the upper left corner here now create uh, folders and files etc. But again there are other features to this that are just not as good as the um, Google app. So maybe now is a good time to stop um, now that you're logged in and head over to the iTunes App Store and download the free Google Drive app. Good luck with that.